Hello. Temu. But somebody told me that they talked to the Timu people and they said, how do you pronounce it? And that's T, T A Moo. T Moo. That's what they found out. I like to say Timu better than the other, any other way. What do I going to do today from Temu, from Timu? All right. I got this box. I mean, my daughter in law had a yard sale and she was selling this box. And she loved it. I don't know why she sold it. So I bought it <clears throat> because I thought I could put crap in there. Good crap stuff. All right. So when I first started hauling from Timu, everything I got, I put in here. And then I put this underneath my dressing table over here. And once it was full and I never opened it again because it wouldn't fit anything else. And I've never opened it. So I decided, hey, let's see what is in there. What did I order that I had to have and I haven't even looked at it for a year. I thought, oh, let's do it together. All right, there's a lot of stickers. Explore. These were stickers and of course I cannot link this stuff nor can I tell you the price or anything because I don't remember and I'm not gonna look it up. All right, these are stickers that I got, you know, to put on my mugs because I was a traveler. And aren't they cute? Arizona, I went there, outdoor. Here is family camp, Buffalo wild zone. I wouldn't suggest comp uh, camping with Buffalo. Go outside. But I'm not going to put these on my van. Cabin. Uh, good. Hello. Vibe. Summer. No, it's supposed to be good vibes. Hello. Summer. Yeah. The mountains. There's no place like the mountains. These are cute. Wanderlust. Comfort zone. Campfire. National park. And here's something I don't know. And here's something. And... Just pictures of camping, camping adventure. Anyway, so I haven't used them. <laughs> what am I going to use them for? My collections. I don't know. Oh, now these, I remember showing these. These are ladies. They're beautiful little lady stickers. Don't know what I'm going to use them for. but they're really cute. And you get your, you tell them what color you want. This was a blue color and they're like on, you know, transparent stuff. So they're like clear and they're so cute, but what would you use them for? I'm not gonna put them on my window, around my mirror, no. So I don't know what you use them for, but they're darling. I'm not into junk journaling. I'm not going to waste my time doing that. What would that do? I mean, when I was done, I wouldn't feel like I accomplished anything. And the other thing is, I'm too close to dying. People aren't going to care. Then I have them in red. Then my kids would just throw it away. And then these are flowers. I didn't even open this one. I just put it in my box. <clears throat> It's like when scrapbooking came out. Remember, and you could buy tons of scrapbooking stuff. And you spent so much on all that crap for one page of your pictures. And then you would have volumes and volumes of that scrapbooking stuff that were just your pictures. Just put them in a photo album. So I never got into it much. Flowers. These are darling. How many flowers can you put on a mug or something? So I have these to go along with my other stickers. And here's some more pink flowers. Same as that. And then we have some more stickers. What are they? Oh, drop stickers. These are food stickers. Baby Ruth and Snicker Bars. Oh, salt and vinegar lays. These are all my favorite foods. Skittles. 
They're the real Kit Kat, Cookies, Capri Sun, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Nutella, Skippy Peanut Butter, M&M's, and a leaf. Why would a leaf be in there with food? I have no idea. And then here's some more stickers from the Camping Life's a Journey. I'm not going to look at those because you already saw them. And here's some more stickers. Now remember, this plastic bag is noisier than this kind. Noisy. I don't know why we have those noisy ones. Oh, these are church ones. I'm glad I found these because I was about or ready to order some new one. New ones. Seek God. God is good. God is love. <coughs> Uh, grateful and blessed. I can do all things through Christ. You know that scripture. Uh, saved by grace through faith. When my heart is overwhelmed. Bad. I can't even read it. Mean. I don't know. Be helpful. Go, go into the world and good and preach the good news. Praise be to God. Oh, I got to look through all these. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it. Uh, that is in, it, it tells where it's at, Mark eleven twenty four. When the heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock, right, rock that is higher than I. That's Psalm. I am a child of God. I've like my necklaces. Oh, these are wonderful. I'm, I'm going to leave them out. No one is you, and that is your power. God is good all the time. That's true. God doesn't make mistakes. We know that. He's perfect. The flower blooms in adversary is the most rare and beautiful of all. Let go and let God. Oh, and here's just a love. I'll go stick that on Jamie's side. Holy Bible sticker. You can put this on your Bible because you might not, you might forget what it is. His grace is enough. I will be with you. Not me, but that means God will be with you. Create to praise God. Where God guides, he provides. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philip, Philippians 4.13. Whatever you do, do it enthusiastically as something done for the Lord. Nice. Fear ends where faith begins. Oh, this is an Easter one because look, it has the thorn cross he wore. <gasps> Jesus, I trust in you. But what is that? He's holding. Wings? I don't know. I don't think Jesus has wings. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. Oh, that is in John 1, 5, if, that, if I read it right. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 6. For God has not given us spirit of fear, but of power of love and sound. You could use these for your daily devotional. God is <clears throat> without her, she will not fail. That writing. Oh, here's a Spanish one. I'm going to give that one to Trevor. I can do all things. Did you know Trevor speaks uh, Spanish? Anyway, my church ones. So, I'm going to put these in this baggie and leave them out. And that will go with my uh, scripture study. What is this nice thing? This is like I just got them in the mail because I have no memory of this stuff whatsoever. It's papers. Oh, no, this is my copper leaf. I got this stuff, copper leaf, to put on stuff. I forgot. There's a ton of it. 
I could be doing copper leaf leafing for my kitchen. I want copper in my kitchen. Forgot about it. I should have been doing this. I could have been redecorating with copper. Now I'm wrecking it. Oh, it needs a bigger baggie. I'm going to put it over here to put it in a bigger baggie because that one's too little. And more patriotic stickers. We're not reading them. And here's more food stickers. An avocado. Do more of what makes you happy. Explore. Oh, these are like ones that, you know, encouragement ones. Oh, look. I need this encouragement. No, I don't need a diamond and a donut, watermelon, a shark, good vibes. These are nice ones. These are like waterproof stickers. The original cool. I don't know what that would mean. Aloha. I went to Hawaii. Jamie and I went to Hawaii on a cruise. And that looks like a Hawaii flower. Troublemaker. And a pineapple that's the wrong color. Hey, those are nice stickers. For your... I don't know what. And what is this? A bow tie around the neck. This would look so good with my gobble. I bought it and I asked Credence, you want to wear a bow tie? No. And here's some more patriotic stickers. Patriotic stickers. For the 4th of July. States. All the state stickers. We don't need to read those. Okay. Stickers for the states. Because I wanted to put all the states I've been to on the travel mug. And then have it. Which I did. <gasps> what? Look at this. Here is the... I had one already. Oh, no. The love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever. Got to give that to one of my granddaughters. I'll leave that out. Where's Trevor sticker? And I'll give it to one of his girls. And here's a ring. Beautiful ring. Why is it in here? And another granddaughter one. I wondered what I did. I thought I already gave him away. Oh, a tablet of beautiful paper. Oh, look at that. I could be using it. They're beautiful pieces of paper. Leave that out. If I leave all this stuff out, it will just take all the room on the desk. So then I won't have room for anything else. More state stickers. Look, here's one whole order I got, and I put it all in here. I remember putting it in here. I just don't remember what I ordered. All right, these were supposed to be some kind of stickers that were from, um, you know, past uh, gone by. And they were supposed to be like, but they're kind of before my memory of things these look you know they're before the 50s because um Amer the american girl it's like during world war one and stuff some of them so i've never done anything with them oh look at this one i like this is out of a newspaper what do you do with them why'd i buy them i stopped buying this stuff because i didn't know what to do with them I don't know why I bought them, what I thought I was going to do with them. And here's more states that I never went to. Alaska, never went there. New York, never went there. New Jersey, never went there. West Virginia, North Carolina. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Kansas. Arkansas. I went there and I went to Kansas and Arkansas and South. I have two South Carolina ones because I never went there. So these need to go. Oh, and here's some more. These are the states. Georgia, Massachusetts. I never went up to the uh, north. Minnesota and New Hampshire. I went to Hawaii. 
Maybe these were before I went. No, Rhode Island, Vermont. Got to go there in the fall. Pennsylvania, Ohio. I did go there. And I did go to North Dakota and Wisconsin. Maryland, no. Delaware. Uh, we got to send this to uh, President Biden. Didn't he come from Delaware? And Connecticut and Maine. So I got to keep them. The ones I haven't been to, you know. Going to be getting, getting there someday. We want to go see Niagara Falls, but <clears throat> the whole problem is with traveling. My husband doesn't want to travel in the summer because he has to garden. No, he doesn't. These are just dark pieces of paper. What am I going to do with them? They're like old maps and stuff. These would be good to decoupage on something for my library. Oh, that would be cool to decoupage an old, the bookshelf in there or something. You know, I have one in there. That'd be a good project. I have to have more than this. I do have more. Don't worry, I do have more. Here's some more old looking stuff. Yes, yeah, see? Could use all these. More of this old map stuff. I have a lot of it. Going to do it. I'm going to decoupage the whole shelf. I love decoupaging. When I'm, I'll tell you a story. <laughs> when I, <laughs> when we moved into this house, Jamie said, all right, because you know me, I was a poor person and I had a lot of press board and stuff. And he goes, all right, in this house, we are not going to have any more fake wood cheap crap furniture in this new house before we moved in here when he's building it. And I said, okay, okay. Well, I had a bookshelf that I loved it, but it was press board. So I had wrapping paper that was this old world stuff and I decoupaged the whole thing. It was, I think I still have it in there. It's beautiful. The only problem is when I moved it, it was falling apart. So then um, <coughs> I told him that it's not, it's not press board. It's decoupage. We're keeping it. And here's some more cute, lovely pieces of paper. Dream. They're music, fake music and stuff. Is it the same, si same size as my tablet here of paper? Oh, no, I have two of them. Thought it was the same one. Is it? No, this one has music with cherubs. Is that what they're called? Those naked little girls. And this is just flowers. Oh, require, rumored flower letter. And this is rumored flower letter. Oh, they're the same. Don't know why. If one is good, two is better, I guess. Did I show all this? Yeah. Showed all this stuff. The, will I ever use it? Don't ever buy. To, note to self. Don't ever buy more stickers. <laughs> uh. My allergies are bothering me, and I don't even have an allergy. <gasps> Maybe I do. You know, but I find out. If you don't go to the doctor to get stuff tested, then you never know. <laughs> don't have your cholesterol tested. Then you'll, I my cholesterol's fine. I did check my blood pressure. Oh, look, I have a pamphlet, a booklet. The Prince of Peace. Oh, who gave it to me? I don't know who that is. Laura Lee. Huh. That's wonderful. I'll have to read it again. What else is in here? Oh, why is that in here? I hate to say it. Adult coloring. You know, I hate to say that because it sounds like some... Adult coloring sounds like you're going to be coloring naked adults that you don't want children to see. Here's a brand new one. It's probably from the Dollar Tree. I should give that as a gift. And then I have my uh, things to do to get ready to go. So I'm glad I found my tablets. Our print star place up here. They give you these for free. And so, huh, how do you feel better? 
it's not going to help me. And what is this? Because I'm a scrounge, I stay, I save these to write for my scratch papers. I don't know what this is. A manual, instruction manual for your solar panel with light string box. I don't need it. <coughs> Before reading. Huh. Good, I'm glad I'm going through this. Here's some iron-on snowflakes. Okay, what else? More stickers from states and old people. Who is that guy? Um, Humphrey Bogart, maybe. I don't know. I wish my mother was here because she knew all of that. She could tell me everything. And I loved showing her things and... My mother was so smart and beautiful, talented. She could do anything. She didn't graduate from high school, so she taught herself. And she was a great reader of great things, and she knew everything. This guy, is this Hunk Humphrey? No, I don't know who it is. See, she would know who that was. Look, you just have a bow. These are beautiful. And look. Sorry, I can't link them to you. Oh, look, if you love Coca-Cola, you should put that with that can of Coke and make a picture. Oh, and look. Oh, sewing machine. <clears throat> oh, our old telephone. These are cute. The old typewriter. These are just all the things we grew up with. Just put them in a book. And then remember everything for your memories. Oh, look at this. Oh, this one isn't, but it says Little Doobie. Little Debbies. That's not that old, because when, well, I wonder what year. Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, what year did Little Debbies come out? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, August 23rd, 1960 is known as the birthday of Little Debbie Snacks. 1960. I guess they were. Well, we never bought them. My mother never bought them back then. Oh, Jeff, I love you too. But my ex-husband's Jeff could send that to him. Okay. Go ahead. Make my day. Yes. No. Yes. No. All right. Stupid. I don't know. And here's one for Easter. The Runaway Bunny. We'll leave that one out for Easter. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. And here's some more states. I need to put the states all together. It will be fine. Okay. And then I have my car is a Subaru. And they had these stickers one time at the Subaru place. I pretended I picked up one, but I really had some, a whole bunch. Don't tell them. They were free. And here's some different languages that I have no idea what the language is, what it says. I don't know. I don't think that's Spanish. It doesn't look like Spanish. No, not another one. <laughs> I have four of them now. And here's another. Sobortor. I don't know. It's a different language. Okay, now these. This is a kit. Oh, this was my Christmas cards I made. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. And I printed off and then I colored them and took them on my cruise with me. And I did all my Christmas cards on my cruise to Hawaii. And then I have this. I want this. My painting tablet. Paint pad. Watercolors. Markers, poster paints. All right. How would I know it was there? It's a good thing I went and got through it. All righty. Now, I got these little gift bags. I need to put them somewhere else for the little jewelries I give to everybody. And then these little boxes that make up into little suitcase boxes or something. I think these make up into suitcases, and they're so cute. All right, and then this. They're brand new. 
And these, they still have them on Temu. I know they do. And they are the most wonderful. Have you heard of Greg Olson? I think it's him. He paints uh -huh, Greg artwork by Greg Olson. He paints Jesus pictures, and he's the best ever guy painter. And they, I can't believe Temu Timu sells these. And I bought them, and I gave them to my daughter-in-law and stuff because she teaches uh, church classes. And it has all of these wonderful cards, the pictures on this side. Is all the same on this side. But on this side, look at them. Greg Olson's artwork. And I'm sure if you type in Greg Olson cards, artwork cards, long loving words from Jesus cards. And like for Easter, I'm going to go through and find an Easter one and then take them to people or give them out Sunday or something. I got to do something with Easter. Anyway, how many is in here? Probably 52. I don't know. <clears throat> Does it say? This beautiful deck is Doreen Virtue's way of showing her love and respect for Jesus and his inspira inspiring words of the gospel. Each card features a loving portrait of Jesus by the artist Greg Olson, along with an uplifting biblical verse from Jesus. Whatever your relationship with Jesus is like, you're sure to find these cards comforting and filled with love. Doreen is donating a portion of the proceeds from this deck to one of her favorite charities, Compassion International, which provides for the basic needs of impoverished children worldwide so that they can live happier and healthier lives. I got to buy some more. So, I hope that's true and that team is not tricking us. I don't know. Anyway, so look it up. Greg Olson. Well, it's, oh, there's 44 cards. Loving words from Jesus cards. I don't know. And I never tried this. I should try it now. All right, you get these wax melts and you can choose the colors and then you get this, it came together. <clears throat> so you put the wax melt in here. You melt the wax over a candle or something. I would think a candle, picture color. Melt. And then you pour it on the back of your letter and then here is the stamp. And I had to have it. Right then, order it quick. Had to wait two weeks. Have I used it? No. I'm going to play with it tonight. Dang, I just wrote a letter. I should have. I'm starting to get fan mail, you guys. It's true. I got two fan letters. Well, I can't really say that. One lady wrote me. The lady who won the package, the Timu package. Not Timu. The the your earrings that I gave away. She sent me a thank you note. And then this other lady sent me, um, this one, just Marie sent me uh, a letter. I wrote her back to, and she lives in Baltimore. Oh, she lives in Baltimore. Maybe not. She lives in, I don't know. But it went to Baltimore, postage. You know, the Baltimore Bridge went down. So anyway, I'm, I'm saving them. I'm starting up a book. I could do a scrapbook with these stickers and put my fan mail in it. Well, it's going to start out slow, but I could put a few decoy fan mail, pretending I got it from somebody. My grandchildren. I got to tell you the funniest story ever. My daughter, Emily, called me this morning. She goes, Mom, Jackson said the funniest thing. Jackson and Ellie, shout out to you if you're watching, but they're probably not because this is too boring for them. But Jackson came in and I told, told you how I bought him. He wanted those gems and minerals and she wanted the satin pajamas and I bought them for him and they came. And so I showed him on here. Well, Jackson came to out to his and he said to his mother, Mom, I found out where my gems and rhinestones and my gems and minerals are. And she goes, well, where? 
Grandma has them <laughs> from Demas. She didn't mail them to me. She has them. They mailed them to her, and she has my gems and minerals. <laughs> and Ellie goes, yeah, and she has my silk pajamas, too. So they've been watching me. So that's so funny. And I was going to give it to him next time I see him. But since I'm going on my trip, which we've planned our uh, menu, our calendar, our day of departure and our day of return. And luckily my grandson, Parker, he's in college, but he's off for this, I don't know, on April 10th. I don't know. Sometime in April, he said, I got to find out the right date, but he's going to move in here. And so he will get to babysit the house and feed the fish while we're gone. So I'm really relieved about that. So um, he is doing that and we planned our planned. I don't think that's a word. We planned our agenda. Temporary. And I contacted my son, Cameron. And we'll be parking in front of his house for a few weekend or something. And then I'll film him. You'll get to meet Cameron. He's lovely. He's as lovely as Trevor. And he has a different career and stuff. And he doesn't like, he's not the teacher, but he does love child, uh, tr children. So anyway, you'll get to meet him. So that is going to be coming in April soon. And we got the RV out. We have to find out if we have to buy a new battery, but. Then we're going to get it going, and I got to get in and clean it all. We could do a clean together, and I'll film it while I'm cleaning it, cleaning it, and find out if the mice got in there. Last year they did, and this year I hope they didn't. Oh, an update. Um, you know, Jay Osmond used to be our neighbor up here. Well, the house that he uh, lived in, and they, they built it, but they sold it, and so... The people that bought it are adding on to it. So I took a picture of the garage and stuff they're adding on to it. And I sent it to Jay Osmond and, and Karen and said, look what they're doing. You've probably seen pictures, but they're adding on to your house. And he wrote, they wrote right back. Oh, thanks for the picture. No, we haven't seen it. Anyway, I told him it sounds like you're doing good in Bronson. But anyway, they wrote right back. So all I said, I'll get better pictures because from the front, it makes it look huge, the house. But I, this is from the other side. I didn't take a picture. Anyway, I was just going to drop a line that Jay Osmond, contact, I contacted him. He con it might have been her because it's Jaron Osmond. Isn't that cute? If Jamie and Angela were put together and me, no. Jayla, Jayla, that was kind of like Jennifer and Jennifer Lopez when she's with her new husband. They have a word like that too. And Brad Pitt and, you know, they all have those names. So Jamie and I would be, I forgot it already, but anyway, we're not going to do it anyway, because they do it and then they always divorce, all of them divorced. Jamie and I are not divorcing. Do I put all this stuff back in here and then forget it forever? <coughs> Maybe. At least I know where my Christmas card making stuff is. And my copper. I could copper leaf and I have gold leaf too. I'm going to do a show on that. I got to write that down right now so I don't forget it. Because I am the most forgetful person on my things to do. That I'm going to show you guys how to gold leaf, gold and copper leaf. I just have to find the things that I'm going to copper and gold leaf. Okay. To-do list. I won't forget that. Alrighty. That's my tea, Temu. Or Pat, what would this be called? Hoarding, pack racking, Pat. What did the, uh, the mice, no, the squirrels do? They hide stuff away. That's what I was doing. Squirrel hiding. The nuts. It wasn't nuts. But look at I do have nuts. Here, I'll tell you what I do. This is a, a combination. It's pistachio mix. It has pistachios, almonds, and cashews. So I eat all the pistachios out of it. And I, then I go eat all the cashews out of it. And then I give the almonds to Jamie. <laughs> 
I bought them, so I don't think I feel bad about it. Because, you know, he could buy them himself if he wanted if he wanted pistachios and cashews. I'm, I'm kind enough to share the almonds. <laughs> I'm not that mean to him. I took him out to lunch. I paid for the damage I did on my car. And I didn't make him pay for it. And I did it with my money I made from YouTube. So I'm doing good things with the money. I'm, you know, taking my part and taking care of my husband. And then um, I'm going to travel with it. Okay. Thanks for watching and being my friends. I can't believe how many good things you guys say and how many nice, nice things. you. I have never had this much nice things said about me in my whole life except from when I first married my three husbands on the wedding day, they said nice things about me. <laughs> Later they did. not But anyway, <laughs> and Carolyn, my sister, you notice she makes comments on here. It's my sister. So she always says nice things about me. And, but we never did fight because we're five years apart and I was born on her birthday. And so we never growing up had any fights at all. So she, well, I wasn't really a fighter with any of my siblings, except maybe Lisa, my younger sister. Because she, you know, five years, she was four and a half years younger. She bugged me. Oh, I'm chatty today. I need to stop.